All right, what do you want to talk about tonight? I, I get up here and I just begin speaking. What, what, what do you have on your mind? What do you want to talk about? Stadium? All right, we'll leave that to later. What else do you want to talk about? Huh? Football schedule? Did I hear that somewhere? Football schedule. All right. All right, and I know, and I know that Coach Phillips will, will touch on it, but I think we do have a great schedule this year. I think it's one that's competitive. If we can play well, and we are going to play well, I think it will position us well nationally. And when you put together a football schedule, you always look at that in terms of how it positions us nationally, and I think our program's ready for that. So playing three, again, BCS, non-conference games, going out to UCLA, I think that would be a terrific challenge for our kids. Everybody grows up. They know the Rose Bowl. What a wonderful setting that is. Pasadena. So I think that will be a great time and a special uh, special game for our student athletes. USC went on probation and the juniors and the seniors could transfer. They, Coach Neuheisel set up shop on the USC campus. So um, they're going to be much better. Going to Texas Tech and playing there. Um, we uh, that would be obviously a great challenge. They've got a great uh, home crowd. Uh, we are working to try to play Texas Tech uh, across the board in our other sports, and we're also trying to play them again in football. And uh, with the change in, in coaching uh, there with Coach Tuberville, no disrespect to Coach Tuberville, I wouldn't want to play us either. But we're having trouble trying to schedule any games out in the future with Texas Tech. So it's been a long month in July, but it's been great. It is great to put the red and white on and represent you and the University of Houston and the women's basketball program and our athletic department in general walking those recruiting lines all through July. So I always open this up. On three, go Coos. One, two, three. Go Coos! like you, man. Diane got enough to drink yet or something? On three, go Cougs. One, two, three. Go Cougs! Uh, very, very proud of the young ladies. They have had a great summer. Uh, coach uh, Kelly Spriggs, who is our new strength and conditioning coach, she has done a phenomenal job. Done a great job. Had a, about an hour-long conversation with her, catching up on with all the girls and their process. And, and, and going through the process that she's taking them through from the conditioning and all that stuff. But uh, couldn't be more proud of them. She, she really complimented them, said they're really working hard. And that's part of what we're trying to do. And that's change the mentality and change the culture. And, and, and we're getting there. Hey, we're, we're really excited about our season coming up. We have some fantastic teams that we're playing against. We've got uh, Texas coming in, Texas A&M, SMU, all top 10 teams in the country. And we're gonna we're gonna give them help. We're gonna give them help. We got the greatest bunch of girls you've ever met. I hope you come out and get a chance to see some of them. We've got Olympic medalists on our team. We'd like you to come out and stay, see them. We've got Jane Figueredo, the best diving coach in the world. She's the best diving coach in the world. Right now, she's at the European Championships with two of our divers, getting ready to compete at the European Championships. My assistant coach Jamie Lewis gets on a plane on Thursday. She'll be coaching Rekha Kovacs. A Conference USA champion this year as a freshman. She broke the conference record in the 400 individual medley, and she, is, she has qualified to represent the country of Hungary at the European Championships in swimming. We have two young ladies on our team that have qualified to compete at the Pan Pacific Championships in California, as well as the World Championships in um, China next summer, and in December, the World Championships in Dubai. So we've got great things going on down at the swimming and diving pool. This job is one of the greatest jobs in the nation. The most historic ball program of all time. Uh, we're more successful in UCLA basketball than we're more successful in Notre Dame football. But my wife's from South Bend. I don't know if anybody up there will uh, take the part or not. But, uh, we've been very, very successful. We've been to one, 16 national championships at the University of Houston. And my vision, um, along with a lot of other people just to get this program back to the national conference. And to do that, we're going to need your support. We're going to need your community support. One of the big things I've tried to do this, this past season is realign ourselves with the golf course in Houston. We've got a great city for golf. Golf courses here have been so generous. You know, right now, we're, we're, we're trying to build a, a, a facility that does kind of really works. You know, more of that information will be becoming the future. But our main focus right now is what's called Project 17. 
and this is an idea that I have to, you know, to you know, get us on pace with, with Texas a and to get us on pace with University of Texas to give us a chance to win that 17th national championship. You have to want to win the national championship. And I think right now we've got the people here who feel that way. We've got an athletic director who knows what he's doing. A football program is in great shape. Brought in some coaches here in the world out there who know how to win. What we have to do here, people, is get the people in the stands acting like they're national champions. That's to happen. You've got to get, I, that place has got to be stuck every week. And it's got to be demanding. You can't mess around on it. you got, you got to play. But never before have I seen us in a better position to get all this stuff done than we are right now. Well, you guys know it or not, you're blessed with the people who are running our athletic program who are in our athletic program. What you're going to have to do is make that come sure that they understand that you're in the stand demanding that they play exceptionally hard and exceptionally well, and they're out on the field and you get off your butt and go to work. That's just the way it is. We've got a kicker coming back named Matt Hogan. Uh, Matt last year. He, uh, I made a change in the middle of the season uh, and had a tremendous season. He was a, he was a freshman, redshirt freshman walk-on, but now he's a redshirt sophomore scholarship player for us. Um, but he had a, uh, what I thought was a tremendous year for a, for a walk-on freshman kicker. Um, he finished the season as the only kicker in the country not to miss a field goal. He's 12 for 12. Uh, had a big one up in, uh, in Tulsa a couple of weeks after the game started. One of the other things I'm most excited about, and I'll stop and answer a few questions, is our, our coverage uh, players, okay? Um, a big emphasis last spring and this summer has been our kickers kicking off to improve their distance and hang time. And as you look at the guys we have running down the field, especially on the kickoff, since the average of 19 kickoffs a game, is there's some key guys we need to replace. Tim Mercer did a great job last year. He's gone. Tim Monroe, Carson Blackman. And then we've got a number of guys that were backup role players last year. Now they'll be starting for us on defense or offense. So you'll see some uh, key freshmen running down the field. And I really, really look forward. I think this is uh, as good a recruiting class as we have brought in since we've been here. I think we've brought in a couple of good ones. I'm anxious to see some of these young linebackers and defensive backs and receivers running on the field back with them. All right, again, a big thank you for all of you coming out tonight and all the folks at Skeeters here for hosting us for our coaches' virtual number three. Thank you all very much.